Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on Kemptura Corporation, ticker symbol CEMJQ. Uh, been a great trader and has recently just allowed uh, for more profits to be made. I did this one a few days ago, and the chart looked like this. Uh, so let me briefly go over uh, what all these annotations meant. Uh, these were two support levels. Uh, this was our ideal support, meaning that's what you would ideally like to see it hold. But if the price did fall through there, you know, no big deal because uh, we still had this support level underneath us at 40 cents. So this was more of a crucial line. And that's why that was thicker. And at the same time, when I did this, we closed right up at this key resistance level, which was at 48 cents. Um, and from there, you know, if you were a breakout player, that was going to be your cue on where to get in. Uh, the next day, you gapped above it. And from there, you pulled back, tested this little uh, support area, hovered around here a little bit more. Uh, had a nice day here and then today uh, really just took off best volume that it's had in a while and also the thing to note was uh, the markets were down today uh, so you're definitely going against the grain here in terms of um, pushing up when the overall markets and the majority of those stocks uh, were all down so um, on on that note in regards if you're comparing it to uh, the overall market you were green which is uh, obviously a good thing. So I wanted to get this one updated uh, since we have new uh, support levels and resistance levels and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, the key thing I did want to note was this correlation here. Nice solid volume and bullish price reaction. Nothing worse than getting a nice above average uh, volume day and then getting a day that either goes sideways or worse yet down. So uh, just a great uh, technical analysis correlation here. Nice volume with nice price action. So the first thing that needs to be done in this chart is what I'm going to do is actually just get that support level out out of there. But this still stands, or excuse me, I'm worried about this one. But this resistance has now become a support because that's just uh, basic technical analysis. When supports are, or when resistances are broken, they become supports. And then the other little new support level that I'm going to throw in there is going to be just right up here. And I'm going to leave this a little skinnier line because, um, once again, it, it's a support level, but it's not like a, a need to hold or if it fails, the whole chart you know goes down the toilet, nothing like that. Um, so, but this level is valued at uh, 56 cents. So keep that in mind. That is uh, the next support level um, after the next one I'm going to draw, which is right up here, which was the previous high here. Uh, once again. The last time I did this, if you remember, we had that note that was an ideal support level, and that's exactly what this one's going to be, so I'm going to change it to 1, so this line's skinnier, and it reminds everybody that this is, yes, a support level, but if it fails, um, you know, don't go freaking out because you still have plenty of support levels beneath you. The other thing that's uh, pretty impressive about the chart in this move is right here, this orange line, which is the 200-day simple moving average, a big psychological um, area. And as you can see, the price got up here and, you know, didn't even really flinch, blew right through it. Once again, on some nice volume. Uh, usually this, a downtrending 200-day simple moving average, uh, packs a little bit more punch in terms of resistance, but uh, the bulls just absolutely ran right through it. So that's a good sign to see. It really shows that there's uh, strength behind this move. Now, in terms of resistance, I'm just going to hop to the weekly chart because that'll be easier to see. Uh, as you can by making this skinnier, I still haven't found anything. Uh, I can make this a little bit more, but then it gets kind of hard to read. So what I'm going to do is just hop to the weekly chart. And you can see here, uh, you know, the weekly chart is just an absolute beauty. Um, not too much you can really say bad about it. The one thing to watch is this 50-week simple moving average is literally almost vertically crashing down on you. So this might pack a punch. Uh, but right now this isn't valued. This is up over a dollar, so we won't worry about that one quite yet. Uh, the nearest term resistance level to keep your eye on is going to be this high uh, from this week right here. Uh, this high is at 85 cents. Uh, so today you closed at uh, 74. So you're getting close, but you still have a ways to go. Um, but this is going to be the key resistance level on the chart if you continue on up. Uh, after that, 
once again you have the 50 week simple moving average which week by week will continue uh, to come down on you so this $1.17 uh, will only be the case uh, for you know today these are obviously moving averages meaning they're always moving in price because they're taking averages which are, are different every day um, but just for simplicity's sake, let's just right now worry about this 85 cents. And if this fails and uh, you get a close above that, um, then I'm sure I'll be back to do another video chart. Uh, so I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. But back to the daily, um, you see a lot of green here, and that's just a good thing. I ideally, uh, this and this level are going to be the two that you want to see hold. But even if they don't, um, I'd say this level right here is really kind of uh, the must hold if you want this. Um, chart to remain good looking in terms of this upward move. A real quick look at the 60 minute, um, you know, just mimics what we've been seeing on the daily. Um, you have these four moving averages, all four of them moving beautifully now, nice space in between them, and they're all going in the same direction. None of them are going sideways or pulling back, they're all uptrending, and that's just a sign that shows that the overall short term trend is very bullish and is, um, you know, being uh, being run by the bulls, you know, there's, there's, uh, they're the bosses right now, and that's uh, a good sign to see on the 60-minute chart. So that wraps up this. Uh, congratulations to uh, you breakout players that hopped in on the breakout uh, over here that I was talking about the last time I did the video. Um, you're, you should be up some nice money now, and then also congratulations to the uh, longer-term players, swing traders or whoever um, that are playing this as you're uh, up quite a bit. Uh, on another note, please check down. Uh, for the free ebook link, if you click on that and then sign up for my newsletter, you will be uh, signed up for uh, uh, my mul my newsletter, which is uh, free. You also get a free ebook, which goes over some strategies and so forth that I use. And then you also get um, articles sent to you. You get uh, bullish chart setups. You get um, trading ideas, and we've been having good success on our trading ideas. The last one made about 50%, and the one before that about 70%. So, um, you know, it, it's a good uh, setup for everybody because it's good variety, good ideas, and so forth. So I'd encourage you to check that out. So like I said, it is free. Um, if you have any other questions on CEMJQ, uh, please shoot me a message, and I'll try to help you out. Uh, but overall, nice, bullish, strong-looking chart. Thanks for listening.